Welcome back. Uh, it is uh, 1.44, just coming up towards 2 o'clock. You're watching uh, and listening to Alastair Stewart and Friends here on GB News. As I said just before the break, 100 UK companies have decided that they're going to permanently adopt a four-day working week for all of their employees with no loss of pay. The 100 companies employ 2,600 staff, a tiny fraction of the UK's working population, but the four-day week campaign group is hoping that they will be the vanguard of a major shift. Uh, so, is there room for change in the way that we work? The campaign has some political support as well, and we're speaking to a Labour MP in a moment uh, who also supports the change. But joining me live in the studio now, I'm delighted to say, is John Berry. John's the sales director uh, and director of People, Places and Purpose at Tyler Grange, which is an environmental consultancy, and they took part in the four-day working week trial. And more importantly, you loved it, your people loved it, and you've adopted it. We did, Alistair. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, it's been a big, big change for Tyler Grange, but it's been hugely beneficial. Um, the team love it. It's been a lot of hard work, but overall we've seen a 21% increase in productivity of the team. You see, um, that's fascinating. I only interrupt because a lot of the people have been tweeting me about this. Oh, yeah, but you won't get enough work done. You won't be productive enough because in the current economic climate, that, that is almost the be-all and end-all. We need productivity because we need growth. But it's worked for you. It's worked for us. I think the, it's the understanding the difference between work ethic and productivity. I think people working really hard over four days in a job that they enjoy and then coming back refreshed after a three-day weekend... We've seen a 10% increase in happiness. We've seen a 70% reduction in absenteeism. So everything for us has been really positive. And we, we recognise it's not right for every business. Mm -hmm. For us, certainly, it's given the business an opportunity to give everyone effectively 47 non-working days a year. No, absolutely. Can... <laughs> and, John, I also gather, importantly, that it's not a kind of one-size-fits-all. That's correct. There's a template of, of how you might try it out, but you and the team sat down round a table and worked out how it would work for them and your company. Yeah, for us, we decided to take one day a week for the whole business, so nobody works Fridays, and that's had the biggest impact for us. It also gives us Fridays to do a lot of work. You know, one of our values is caring, belonging and opportunity. We do a lot of voluntary and community work on Fridays now, which has a huge impact for society and it has a huge impact on the people that work in our business. So it's not 47 days additional holiday, it's 47 non-working days where people can still make a difference. And that might mean more time with family as well as hobbies and more mundane things. But, you know, generally for us... Uh, the business has continued to thrive. Our clients are happy, the people we collaborate with are happy, uh, and we see no, no reason to go back. How fascinating. Th 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 there is a tricky potential downside, and I'm asking you as a frontline business person about this, um, and we all know about the rows over working hour directives and things like that. In your view as an experienced business person, is this something that should become the law of the land? You have to, you know, there's a maximum of how many days you can work. Or can it be worked out by a particular company like yours and a particular group of workers for everybody's interest rather than it making an edict? Yeah, I, I think it has to be approached flexibly and every business has to adapt to it in a different way. Uh, to mandate the number of hours and how's it apply, how, how it gets applied, I don't think would be correct. I think such a, a wide range of industries in the UK that would need to operate in different ways to make it a success. To, to try and put that into statute or law, in my opinion, just wouldn't work. So, yeah, flexibility, adaptability with a four-day week is key. And I think we'll obviously continue to monitor it ourselves and alter it as, as and when we need to. Mm. Interestingly, and, and talking to other companies that have been involved in it, and, and indeed it may also affect your own company, but we've had those tweets and emails from people saying, look, yeah, tricky for GPs or we're trying it as GPs and that, that's been difficult. And, and I couldn't find the email earlier, but somebody definitely said, if you're an oil rig worker, you must that. be joking. Come on, there's going to be too many shifts. It's going to boost costs left, right and centre. Yeah. What are the problems that have emerged that need addressing if a company is sitting out there listening, thinking, quite like the idea, John's telling me it works for his company and it works for his workforce, but there are a few tricky points we need to think a little further about? Yeah, people do get concerned about compressed hours, so doing five days' work into four, there's additional pressure and anxiety over that, but actually by looking at shift patterns, 
looking at the way people work. We have surveys going on through the night and actually we can still work with those members of the team and also sub-consultants outside of our business to see, to see that we can still offer seven days of work. It's just the core team only have to work four of those seven days. So I think technology and innovation is also key, making sure your business can cut out administration where it's not needed. And also, I mean, environmentally yeah. for us, it's big in terms of... Well, investment in the right kit and uh, yeah, facilities yeah. is as much yeah. about productivity as just working a bit harder. It is, and also... You know, that four-day week applied across the UK, they've said by 2025, could see 27 million tonnes of carbon reduced in our footprint. So it has big, big consequences for the environment, socially. But I say, yeah, I, I agree that for some businesses it, it would be difficult mm. and it would be different. And that's one of the keys, actually. The run-up to it, the preparation, the use of technology, all of that are key considerations for being ready to work a four-day week. And for some people... It will be difficult, but not for everybody. Oh, well, not insurmountable, however. John, great to meet you. And, you. and thank you very much indeed. Uh, well done on the experiment. Uh, and thanks for sharing your experiences thank there. You. That's John Berry, who is the sales director at Tyler Grange and Environment uh, Consultancy, saying he likes it. And more importantly, I'm sure he'd be the first to admit, his people like it. Uh, joining me now to discuss this... Uh,